hey, are you new to streaming and you're trying to get that content for YouTube, for Twitter, TikTok, whatever it might be, and it takes you like two hours to find all your epic, epic clips, well, I got you. Hey, if you're not subscribed, make sure to push that subscribe button. Also, I stream uh, every Friday, Saturday night on Twitch. Yo, those links will be in the description below. If this video helps you out, make sure to like it. Yo, what up, everybody's Perception, back to another YouTube video, here to help you out. So I got the Elgato Stream Deck, and one of my most favorite things about the Elgato Stream Deck is this feature right here. Let's check it out. Yo, so here's my interface with my Elgato Stream Deck up on my desktop for you all to see. So I'm gonna go over to my folder here, go back a couple ways here, into my Twitch folder. What you need to do, this is the Twitch Stream Marker. So on your scroll bar here, go over to Twitch, the Twitch section, and find that Create Stream Marker. Drag and drop that bad boy. And so this is obviously displayed on my Elgato Stream Deck. So while I'm gaming, if I get like a sick double kill or whatever it might be, you know, I'm like just slightly above average with my gameplay. But maybe you get like a Warzone, uh, a Team Wipe, whatever game you play, you get some sick play. All you gotta do now is just reach over to your Stream Deck, push that button. Now you might ask, Okay, well then how do I find that marker on my recorded stream? Well, I'm glad you asked. So what you need to do is open up your Twitch application on your computer, go over to your icon, and go to Video Producer. All right, so once this is open, then what you need to do is find the stream that you are looking for, the marker in, and then click Highlight. But first, notice, right here it says One Marker. So maybe I push this button tons of times. Let's see if I have any that have that. It's been a while with it. Like this one has three markers. Anyways, click highlight on the one that you want to find the marker for. Okay. So this screen pops up. This is where you will see your marker that you pushed when you pushed it on the Elgato Stream Deck. Move your mouse cursor, click that bad boy, and it will pick up where that happened. So here I... Basically, I just got, you know, made some war zone, man, still. run into this building, and this dude scared me. Oh my gosh. So, you know, maybe I want to make a clip about that or something. So now you might ask, okay, well, what would I do with that marker? Well, one thing you can do, if you just want to make a clip of it, look at the time marker, 214, and then go back to the thing here. Instead of clicking highlight, just click the whole thing and click watch. When you're here, go over to find, find 214, and then there you go. Then what you, you can do, you can click clip. This way you have full control over your clip, uh, because, I mean, you can't do all this while you're streaming. I mean, technically a mod could clip it for you and clip what you want, but maybe you want full customization of the clip. You want to have it exactly the starting and ending point that you want, and that's what you can do here when you clip it yourself like that. So, and there you go, then you can easily clip it. This saves hours and hours of trying to find all your epic plays. Just click a button later on after your stream. You can go back through and just click on those markers and make clips of all those fast and easy. You know, so once you got your clip trimmed how you want it, title, click publish. And then when it's published here, what I do is while it's downloading or rendering or whatever you want to call it, uh, how I like to download these clips is switch clip downloader. And then just all you gotta do is click this link here just left click it just says copied and then left click and then right click click paste download link click to download boom it's downloading right here it's saved to my hard drive uh, then I can take it put it on Twitter whatever it might be now obviously here you can just put it directly to Twitter uh, but one thing I would say is if you just put this directly to Twitter, it's going to send the person to your actual stream, which if that's what you want, that's okay. But if they're on mobile, they'll only see a link. They might not want to see it then. But if you actually download it directly to your hard drive and put that file on a Twitter, then that will actually be a video on Twitter for them to see. That's why I would recommend. This is one of my most favorite things about the Elgato Stream Deck. I hope this helps you out. I hope you use it and I hope you post those epic clips. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like on it. It uh, helps me out a lot. And I would also uh, appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel, put the notification bell on. I'm planning on doing some more videos like this, some more uh, things about the stream deck, more of my uh, favorite features on there. Look out for that to come. Hey, thanks for watching. Peace.